Hi everybody, it's Linda. Today I'm showing you the Halloween journal I started working on back in August? July. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness it was July. And then I paused to make uh, other stuff. Anyway, so I finally, and I basically was done except I had to finish the covers and I put ribbon, see this black ribbon, on the inside and back cover as well. Just to finish off where the um, hidden journal, hidden spine um, was kind of, it was a wonky finish on both sides. So anyway, so first thing, I, you have seen this before in other videos, but I this is the dangle for it. Most of these are button dangles, orange, black, a bit of tan and some purple. Okay. Now, this is a bit, oh, there's also, I don't know if you saw this, a skull charm. You see it? And my tassel. I added, as well as different ribbons and pieces of fabric and yarn, I added this, I made this button journal, uh, button string. Um, this was from when I destashed and took apart, uh, deconstructed some jewelry. There was that. This, see this guy? I added a couple jump rings and put him on. His arm is all wonky. Oh no, he's got a wonky arm. He, so adorable, right? I found it's a pair of earrings that I bought at H&M a couple years ago when I was shopping with my daughter. Yeah, I had to get, I had to get them. I should have bought more. Anyway, I haven't used any either of them yet, so I finally got to use it. And in here, hidden at the end of this brick rack, is a little bottle with sequins. And I've glued it on. I tied it on here, but I had to glue the... Hey, isn't that what we were talking about before, Bobby Joe? The eyelet with the screw? That's what that is. Sorry, that's what that is. Anyway, so that's, the, that's my tassel. Okay, so this guy. Let's start on the cover. This is fabric glued onto a, it was just chip, um, like homemade chipboard where I take pre-cut pieces of um, like file folder, certain sizes, and I glue them together. I did this like last year sometime. Um, I Because I go to work so early, I was taking old file folders and I was cutting them into specific sizes at, with our guillotine at work. and. And then I brought them home and then at night I would glue them together to three thick and it's not bad, right? Well, this is an extra piece of fabric there. But anyway, so then I put this orange fabric on and this is, as you can see, it's ribbon. It goes from the inside all the way around to the inside of the back, okay? It just goes all the way around. I haven't tucked anything in any of the pockets at all. I figure whoever ends up with this can do whatever they want. So. I had some bling in my Halloween stash. I have three iris cases full of Halloween stuff and I still actually need a fourth one now because I bought those two pads of paper. Um, I painted this wooden skull. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know how well it's coming through. I can maybe you can see it there. I'm trying, I just, I filmed this and I'm filming it again because I didn't like how, it, how I did it the first time. Um, I ran these two pieces through my Zyron sticker maker. Well, my Zyron, and I turned them into stickers because it would be too awkward to try and glue this thing down. And the only downside is when you make something with lots of thin pieces in the sticker maker, it makes it sticky. It's not anymore because I kept softly running my finger over it. Um, and this guy also. So that way they stuck down. I didn't have to worry about glue. I love my Zyrons. Okay, and over here, this is, I just find my tassel and my dangle are a bit long for this book, but there's the hook for it. I painted it, this spider. And the, these are all wooden pieces, right? You probably recognize them from Dollarama. Um, spider web, spider web, and a bat. And then, yes, there's still room. Okay, so let's see. Try and stay in frame. Okay. See, so here's the pocket, there's the finished piece. I know it doesn't really look right, but whatever. Uh, this is Happy happy Haunting. This was a, a pack of paper and ephemera and, um, yeah, paper, ephemera, 
and maybe oh and a stamp set as well stamp and mate possibly die cut too from this kit I got it all Tuesday morning a couple years ago well was it last year yeah last year or the year before uh, you don't want to know the prices okay so here's some trim now yeah, this is that Tim Holtz slotted die I don't know if there's an extra name in there and I'm forgetting it so each signature has one of these. And this one has haunted houses on there. I'm not going to pull out all this ephemera, but there's ephemera from the kit. This is a stamp with birds and bats. I embossed it. This is when I just got my embossing. Um, the I needed like the glue, right? Like I finally got the glue I had. I didn't even have any embossing powder yet. I bought the clear stuff, which is what I used in this book, except for, yeah, I, I used clear. Okay, Ugh, I'm rambling. Eyes fixed unwaveringly upon them. These things of, of words, these little phrases and stuff, came from a Tim Holtz Halloween word thing. Like, it's all different sizes and colors and fonts and stuff. And if you've seen them before, you know what I'm talking about. He has other other themes, but this was a Halloween one. So this is um, a quarter of a silver spiderweb doily. And I glued a sp little spider punch out. I have I punched a bunch of these out. Down here is Mr. Skeleton from the Happy Haunting um, stamp set. Um, I don't know. Oh, it didn't come out right because I... Yeah, I'm not sure. I must have not been stamping it on a firm surface. But it doesn't matter. It still looks good. The most spectacular night of the year. The O's look like eyes, and I put glossy accents on there. And here's a couple tags I made. Okay. And this is, I sewed this down. Oh, it's also, there's also cheesecloth underneath. Um, here's the song you can see. Haunted House Stamp. There was a different, I'd had a different um, Halloween set of stamps as well that I dragged out and alternated. There's a doily with a spiderweb stamp. Here's one of like the pieces. I think this was from the ha Happy Haunting kit. So I sewed it into a pocket. I stamped spiders. There's a cat paper clip. And in this, I love file folders. I don't know why. So this piece of ephemera came with the kit, this Mr. Skeleton, and that's just an extra piece of leftover paper. So over here is a double belly band. So this bats stamped embossed. So this one, now his little leg, I can't glue it back on, he's glued on to this now, but it still works. And it's just some extra pieces that were turned into journaling cards. I'm sorry. This camera is driving me crazy. Um, okay. Yep, yeah, sorry. I'm trying to figure out where I, if I've been leaving you guys out. And then this envelope. Pumpkin. And this is just a piece of writing paper that I inked with orange. My very first set of inks I ever bought was, um, well, since I started, since I morphed into paper journaling, was a four pack of Halloween colors of the mini inks. And it was Halloween themed. So I had the purple, black, orange, and like that citron yellow or green. So, anyway, so, and this is because it's a double. I have two envelopes there now. And then over here, if you could see, I put some washi to add interest. This page was embossed, but I covered it up on this side because it was like the relief pattern and it would have been backwards. So I just covered that up with a piece of um, the paper. So I just rubbed my orange ink pad over it. Over here, a witch lives here with her little monsters. Tag. I tried to sew most of my tags. And this is, this is like eyelash trim, but it's not that thin that thin um, eyelash trim that a lot of people are buying lately this is this is something else I'm not sure what 
what this is called because I don't have the packaging for it anymore. I don't know if this is literally eyelash trim or if the other one is considered eyelash trim or they're just, you know, both called eyelash trim. Here's the center of the signature. This was just from when I coffee dyed the paper, that pattern. I tried to get patterns from my doilies on there. Um, over here is a stamp of a spooky tree. Here's more of that um, washi. Um, Happy Halloween stamp with a spider uh, that I glued down. Um, Happy haunting and then just some extra pieces all made into journaling cards. This each signature has yeah each signature has a dangle at the side and this one is black with a purple bead and then just pay on just put onto a fed onto a paper clip. Here's the doily. And I really hope you're on. I'm sorry, I think you are. Okay. And here's the doily. Uh, what horrors they had seen. Number 31. That's from the kit. Just a regular tag there. Um, trim up here for the banner, and this is an up tuck spider stamp down there and then I went on the other side and continued that another upper banner that up top. Over here I flipped this out and I had it was wide enough that I put a piece of writing paper on both sides. Okay. So and then trim. And that's the end of the first signature. Now this second signature I put I did the paper upside down. I didn't catch it for a long time until I thought, why is 32 upside down? And then I realized this is a banner. He's supposed to be falling from the, Ugh, you know what? It works still. I think it looks cute still. So I glued some, this Rick Rack on. Here's another of the slotted trick or treat. This is embossed, a banner of just a black banner with um, spiders hanging from it. I made this, I stamped it on, on a piece of extra paper. Threw it in, and there's extra pieces from the kit. Embossed, it's a, it's a bat stamp. I embossed it. Over here is a tag, the eyelash trim. This was a piece of ephemera, so I attached it with um, brads. On the other side, I wanted to hide this, you know, the brad legs, arms, whatever. So I glued this belly band on. Well, I turned it into a belly band and put a tag in there. Here's another one of the corner spider webs with the spider. Um, and there's a piece of washi. This is one of those Rita Donnelly flips where you flip it up. Oh, look, and it's also a pocket. And I glued this on. It says potion. And here's the other dangle. I just added this today. Uh, Caution beware. It's from a Tim Holtz clearance that I bought a while last year or the year before. So I just fed it onto this. Now I have to be careful because see how the its teeth are... Actually I used to have a paper clip here. I, I switched it around because see how it was ripping the... Gosh darn it. Anyway. So. And then center. Here's a paper clip I made. These are buttons I bought. Sorry. These are buttons I bought at Fabricland a few years ago, three or four, maybe even five years ago. Um, Halloween ones, and I bought Christmas ones too. Mrs. Anita Newbody, 1507 to 1581. So I made that into a cluster paper clip. Over here is just a tuck spot, nothing fancy. Piece of ribbon pocket, and another piece of leftover paper turned into a tag. And over here, Sorry, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Writing spot. I, I thought that this would have been too narrow for writing, so I stuck more of the washi there. And if you can see, edge punched. And then over here I made just like a, it's only glued down at the bottom. So a little tuck spot with some of the ephemera. This is extra leftover uh, scrap paper, but the, these two are ephemera pieces. I stamped with the orange ink my little mini, uh, potion number 31, over here, written in the skies. Down here is a punch ticket, the Witch Express. Here's a tag. 
Over here, this is where you take a sheet, like a page, and you fold it, and then you fold it again to make a pocket. So you have a, po a full pocket here. It goes all the way to the center. Then you have like a mini pocket. So I have this here, and over here is a file folder. And I threw some small pieces in here. So I have just an extra piece, right? Nothing fancy, extra piece of paper, an orange button. This is all like chipboard, thick cardstock, whatever you want to call it. I punched out this cat with my die. Oh, I, it's a die cut. And happy haunting. Okay. And then some stamps. These are not embossed, just some bat stamps there. Some more of the trim, and that's the end of that signature. And then here's trim at third signature. I just put washi here. This was corrugated cardboard that I turned into a stamp, but I just wish it was easier to, if somebody would just make a bloody journaling line stamp. I don't know why nobody does. Okay. They used to, I know they have existed, but not for a long time and nobody's selling theirs. Okay, so this is a little piece of washi. It's a spider. Over here, the fragile texture of a spider's web. Here's the spider on the doily. The haunted house stamp. Here's another quarter of the spider web with the spider. So fancy scrapbook paper. There's washi up here. Here's the slotted die. <laughs> um, extra piece. And then some other ephemera. This is haunted houses. Here's a stamp of the spider web. This is a pocket I made. So I punched it out. This is the shape of like a label. I glued, you know how you keep, I keep, um, if it's half decent pieces of packaging that's like acetate. So I cut that and put that there. And then after I made it into a pocket, I realized like I wanted to put this same paper in the background because I then glued on the black spider so that when you take when you look through the window it says be very afraid and when you pull the tag out you see the black spider I thought it was so clever anyway so I made that it, no I and I left it so that you couldn't really tuck anything else I didn't you don't always have to you have to tuck everything everywhere so there's just an extra piece of journaling with um, one of the ephemera pieces the center, here's another, I don't know if you can see that, this is an earring. It's a recent addition, this is a paper clip I made, and yeah, so that goes there. Over here, trick or treat, have a haunting Halloween, something wicked this way comes, 31. So. I put that stamp, I stamped that there. An uninvited guest. See, this is an orange, an old gothic script. Here's another flip out. And with the edge punch too. Some more writing space. And there's a hat, a witch's hat stamped. This is a piece of ephemera. Um, skeleton. Here's a doily with the spiders with a spider on it. And you could probably tuck, but Again, you don't always have to tuck something. This is a cluster that I made and I glued it right on. So there's yarn and fabric and a button. I, I just kind of did one or two stitches through the button just to make it look like I sewed it together. Technically, I guess I did. So there's line paper, another piece of washi because this was another narrow piece and edge punched trim. And you can you know where I got all this trim, this trim from, people. Uh, oh look, more orange. Happy Halloween. I just made a pocket out of this one. And then there's regular paper, a tag. This paper that you can it has a little bit of a design on it, not really. That's from the Happy Haunting pad, and so is this. The bats. Get that in there. A tree, a spooky tree. A bit of a spider web, a spider web, and then this is ephemera. And then this is just an extra piece left over that I cut and stamped. Up here, this is a double layer of washi. There's orange glitter, and then on top, it's like double, double toil and trouble. 
written and stuff and that from that I guess saying from that play okay so there's a piece of washi with spider web uh sorry spiders this is a flip up so I don't know if you can see that it flips up and you can probably put a picture or something there and there's writing space and I did not make it tuckable like I, I decided to leave it just glued straight down here's another slotted die be very afraid I made this did I already show you this maybe I made two of them I made a bunch of these maybe I stamped that on on extra scrapbook paper There we go. Oh, and same with this one, too. Oh, no, we're going to get that in. And there's a witch there, and then there's this piece of ephemera. Oh, wait, wait. Let's see. Yep, that's embossed. The bat's going across. I think I smudged something there. I meant to do that. Okay, and then here, spiders on a piece of ephemera that I turned into a belly band. There's a tag. Spider web with a spider. Oh no, I think my son is home. He's going to interrupt me. And I can't pause. Oh no, never mind. That might be a train. I know I live near close to the train. Okay, so there's black bead and black button on a paper clip. This flips down and it's a tuck up this time. I decided to do the up. So, and it's just an extra piece. Cardstock. And then over here. That I, I took these two circles, the doily and the circle, and I folded them, and it comes up the other side too. Uh, there's a writing spot, bat paper, two bats stamped there. More of that washi, the double washi, over here in the dead of night. Down here I made this pocket. So I took one of the ephemera pieces and made it into a belly band. These two mini tags came with it, and I added the eyelash trim. I made a corner it even flips up and aren't I clever um, I made a corner spot tuck spot there and this I put on a chain because I figured maybe somebody might want to add it to something it just sorry it just says farewell there's tuck spots with tags at back and front and then just some paper and I used an eyelet there yeah isn't that adorable and over here I made this little notepad of just scraps not very big, just scraps. I sewed it through the machine really quick. The most, the most spectacular night of the year in, in the orange, and that's embossed. You can kind of see it. Trick or treat down here with some of the ephemera pieces. And then this is the back. And that's it. That's my Halloween journal. I did not do a closure. Huh. Well, not a big deal. I'll figure that out. I might not do a closure anyway. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. I I loved making it, and I, I really do need to make... Uh, I mean, I have so much Halloween stuff. Um, and same with Christmas. I actually think I need to start... Whatever. I need to do some more journals. And whether it's Christmas or Halloween or even autumn because I did do one um, I did an autumn one last year that I loved and she's still sitting there one of these days I'll do I'll, I'll figure out what to do with these things I know I should sell things but I don't know how to do that and I don't really have the time while I'm still working because even though I am very fortunate to work from home I hardly play during the week because of it uh, because I'm working but today is a holiday so I just thought I'd finally finish this and film it and um yeah and decide what my next project will be anyway i hope you guys like everything and i hope the video worked out this time and i'll see you guys later bye